The Ebola outbreak in West Africa is not over yet, nor have we heard the last of the deadly virus. We are going to have other Ebola outbreaks. History tells us that Ebola just doesn't disappear and go away. There have been more than two dozen outbreaks of Ebola in the past four decades, but until this year, there wasn't a vaccine against it. The new vaccine combines a weakened cold sore virus with a piece of the Zaire strain of Ebola that devastated West Africa. The result is an immune response against Ebola Zaire, but not against three other strains of Ebola. The available evidence suggests that a vaccine against one strain will not protect against uh, viruses of a different strain. But the vaccine formula using the cold sore virus, VSV, seems to provide broader protection in animal studies. The VSV approach that was used for the Zaire Ebola strain that was tested in this study has been successfully and very effectively applied to all of the other known strains of Ebola. Well before Ebola Zaire began sweeping through West Africa a year and a half ago, scientists were working on vaccines for Ebola and two other deadly hemorrhagic viruses, Marburg and Lassa. Our original purpose before the outbreak of Ebola in West Africa was to do just that, to have VSV as a vector and to have Marburg, Lassa, and Ebola in there. That was the original plan. Lassa virus is not as deadly as Ebola or Marburg, but up to half a million West Africans get Lassa fever every year, and about 5,000 die from it. Lassa, from a prevalence standpoint, is, is clearly much more of an issue than Ebola is. So will that research go forward? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay. The goal is to protect against all hemorrhagic viruses that strike people in West Africa. Carol Pearson, VOA News, Washington.